um, trying to wake up. I'm in a state of shock. I had uh, four hours of sleep, which is, you know, three times more than the past couple nights. I mean, it's not enough to be normal or healthy. I'm in a lot of pain. I'm in a state of shock. My oxygen is low. Two hours after getting up, my oxygen is still low. It's really dark out, but it's pretty. I want to try to get dressed and go for a little walk. Um, you know, it blows me away. It just blows me away how no one, no one calls to check on me. No one calls to see I'm, how, how I'm doing. It's just so bizarre. Like, you know, you see someone posting desperate desperate stuff and you know you're they're at risk and nobody cares enough to call or nobody calls you know once a week just to say hey how are you doing how are you feeling today you know like old friends or facebook friends or family you know it doesn't matter what goes on what has happened in the past how how can you just not care if someone lives or dies how can you just give up on people even if it's a hopeless situation and a person isn't going to survive how do you just not keep calling and help help a person through their journey <coughs> Or someone who says, you know, I'm going to help you through this. I'm not going to abandon you. I'm not going to give up on you. And they never call. So bizarre. On this end, it's so bizarre for me. To watch the lack of response. You know, I'm not anywhere even nor near my normal self i'm i'm a human that's not sleeping i'm in distress i'm stressed to the max i'm in fight or flight i'm trying to stay alive devise ways to stay alive it's a miracle i'm still here it's amazing what i've all been through in the last three years four years five years On this end, looking out, it's bizarre. I don't know what it's like looking. I don't know what it's like from your end, from the other side. I wake up, I'm in a state of shock. I'm confused, my oxygen is low. I know probably once I get going in a couple hours, if I, you know, when I get dressed, brush my teeth, it's almost, it's after 4 o'clock here, after 4 p.m. It took me 14 hours. I was in bed 14 hours. I slept four hours. The other two nights, not last night, but not the night before, but the two previous nights I was in bed 17 hours and had an hour and a half of sleep in 17 hours this is a nightmare I'm I'm in a I'm in a living nightmare it's beyond me how people don't call like the people who can call it's it's bizarre
it's such extreme cognitive dissonance and confusion. How can you not call a human being when you know they are by themselves? It's, it's almost like a weird experiment, you know? It's so weird. It's so bizarre. I don't have anyone to call. Like, who can I call and not feel like I'm bothering them? Like, I, I have no connections with anybody anymore. I would have to get healthy and well and, you know, rebuild my life and get to know people. It's so bizarre why people don't call just to cheer me on or ask how I'm doing or ask how I'm feeling or send me a note in the mail, send me a card in the mail thinking of you. I'm wishing the best for you. It's, it's, just so bizarre to me. All of this is so bizarre. It's, I don't know. How do people not care if someone lives or dies? It's just, it's like the twilight zone. I, I feel like I'm breathing black smoke in and out. It, it's it's just bizarre. I have no one to turn to. No one checking in on me. No one popping in once a week. No one calling up once a month. Hey, how are you doing? How are you getting along? Everyone stops responding. Are they all waiting for me to die? Even if someone was dying, how, how do you not cheer them on? Or how do you not just comfort them? It's, it's bizarre. I would hope if I were healthy and well, I would do better for another human being. So it's the strangest thing ever. So bizarre. <laughs>